Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the number one place for tips, lifestyle hacks, and overall just motivation. So getting into this video, I was requested in my previous video on the Giant Tex Costaway Mini Portable Washer and Dryer Review from Leash68. She wanted to know after two months of usage, how does this machine still operate? How is it still working? What's the update, basically? I wanted to give it just a little bit more time answering this I wanted to go ahead and make this video for all of you guys that still have questions that I actually did not cover fully through on the first video what has it been like and what's my overall rating for this machine so you want to make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video that way I can show you guys the pros and the cons of this machine why you should get it or maybe why you should not get it and if you're new here please for bleh. And if you're new here and you would like to see more content like this please feel free to give my youtube channel a like and subscribe that way you guys can keep up to date on the updates and to stay tuned for what's next. Either one, I think that this machine is a great source for people who actually need this machine. So if it may not relate to your situation, maybe it can help with either somebody who actually needs something similar to their situation. So just remember with perception, if it may not be beneficial for you, it may be beneficial for somebody else. Right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so we're going to first start off by going through the body of this machine just so you guys can get a better understanding of how she looks here. So right now, so my apartment's quite small. I just have the machine out here. Normally I do use my tub for this and don't worry, I'll go over the questions and concerns about water getting up into the part and damaging the machine. We'll get into that later, but right now this machine, this is what she looks like. This machine weighs 17 pounds. And to pick this machine up, I didn't mention in my previous video, these handles right here allow you to pick up the machine so you can transfer it from place to place. All right, lifting this machine up again, these are the handles. So you can lift the machine up and down, bring it side to side. And then this here, it's the drainage tube. So this clip clips right back onto the machine. That way, when you go to take it out, it's not leaking water out even more. And when you're doing your laundry through the washer part, this is the dryer. This water in here, when you have these three handles. These two normally work the washer and this works the spin dryer. And this one, when you set it to normal and not to drain, it will plug the water up in here. And then when you release it to drain, the drain here, it's going to allow the water to drain out this pipe. All right, now going over the washer and dryer with it just being open and empty. This is the washer part here, and this is the filter that collects the lint when your clothes are washing. The way to take it out is to press like this down here, go downwards so it can clip out. And then, I'm just gonna shut this, show you guys what this looks like. There might just be older lint from just the, me washing clothes in general just still stuck to this little thing, but it's cleaned out. This is what the filter looks like. That's when you just, you know, take this, reverse this or whatever in and out to clean it out once it collects the lint and you're done. We'll go over that later into the video. And then this just clips back on this little thing here. And it clicks. That way you could just put this right back on once it's done after it was in use. And you just clip that right back in there, that way you know it's in. And going deeper into this machine, this on the top here is where the water inlet tube is connected. So down to here into that little hole there. This is where it also came with another tube, which I'll grab in a second, that you could attach to these water inlets. There is water inlets on each side of this machine one for the washer and one for the dryer. So a question that I did get asked as well is, can you run water with the dryer on? Yes, you can, and you could sit there and be rinsing your clothes and have the water going as it's spinning so you could get extra soap or whatever you need to out of your clothes as well. Going over the dryer, this has 
instructions on it, little mini instructions. And it's just basically telling you how to pack your clothes down evenly. Um, and that way it doesn't spin. So it says, please do not touch any moving parts before it stops spinning. Children do not play with the machine. And then it shows you those little pictures before spinning. Ensure all the clothes are placed balanced and spin cap is inserted. So now that that's it's shown you correct, correct. These are wrong. You don't want it slanted to the side. You want to evenly pack down into the dryer wet place. So then here is this disc that comes with it when you're packing down your clothes evenly. So you put your clothes in there, you pack this down with it. That will hold your clothes to make it evenly tight. Say it's like that, shut, and then it will spin, spin dry your clothes. Also, this has a plug-in because for those living in small apartments, going camping, things like that, RVs, little dorm rooms, whatever it is, it's easy to access to plug into the wall. Those who do not have washer dryer hookups, I'm just gonna turn this around. And this is what it looks like on the back that I didn't mention last time. And this is where the little cord is connected to. So that way I can plug it in. And when I do plug this in, I have people concerned about when it gets wet. I'll show you guys how I do that and manage so it does not damage the machine or get wet at all on the underneath of the machine and as well on the electric part of the machine. side of it just to see what it looks like again this is what it looks like on the underneath of the machine um, the tube actually is dirty and when I did on my first video that tire or whatever oil this was for my first video is still here and it never washed out but no damage or anything to this at all that's just whatever it's just there in the drainage tube so this all this like brownish stuff that you see in there that's actually all like dried up lint collected hairs and everything that are in there so I do need to go and clean this tube out and like get like a scrub brush up there or something just that way clean that out um, so I did get a recommendation to use a lint screen um, from one of the people in my comments as well and she just mentioned just to get a lint screen if you are using your tub you don't want the lint to sit there and drain I also did get a lint screen so that way you guys can see in the video that when you drain it doesn't get all plugged up but thank you for the recommendation for that because I do see under here that lint does pass through. It doesn't just collect in the filter, but it does pass through here and it will drain if you're using your tub into your drain. You don't want that to get clogged up, of course. All right, guys, and another thing, this is actually the water inlet pipe that you can use to connect to the funnel, like my hack that I showed to um, in my previous video, again, to the shower head, connected to the funnel, connected to the tube, connected to the washer and the dryer. That way you could run water and you don't have to sit there and hold it and it will just drain straight into there easily. So you could be able to wash your clothes and everything like that. This is the tube that it came with. So yeah, let's go take it to the tub. When I lift the machine, I like to grab the cord with my hand on the handles on both sides. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take it to the bathroom. Show you guys a little mini tour of my bathroom and how I plug my washer and dryer in, avoiding water damage and electric problems. So this is my bathroom. Very tiny, cute little small bathroom. But I, and I just like to leave the funnel on top of there so I could just slide it back on when I go to use it, honestly. Yeah, I'm not lazy, no. <laughs> so this is where the plug-in is at, and don't worry, I have been using this machine for four months now, and honestly, I've had no issues with doing what I've been doing, and it still works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, and show you guys after, uh, when I get this plug put in and everything like that, and how I avoid getting water into this machine, even though it is in the shower. So this is where the water inlet goes. I have my funnel that I put a ponytail on and I just leave it twisted on. That way I could just put it down like that and not have to worry about it. Sorry, my camera's being blurry. There we go. And then I attach this part 
right to the funnel, just tight enough to where it's gonna stay. It never slips off on me at least, so yeah, it just does fine. And then I just connect this straight to the water inlet on the washer. And you could use it for the dryer again if you want to, but yeah, that's how I put that on there. That way that stays connected. I have never had any issues with electric water damage or anything like that. I see that this cord here, when I notice if it's under here, I never have it go under here. So what I do is, I'm just gonna lift this up just a little, and then this cord, since it comes around upwards behind the machine, so it's not on the bottom where the water is to get wet, I take this cord. All right, so I just have this long extension cord here. That way, I can just plug it into my wall right here because it's the closest outlet to my little bathroom. I just plug this in. Then, here's my trick so I don't get anything wet. So I keep this upwards, I kind of hold it, not pull on it too tight or anything. So I plug this in and I give it just a little bit of a pull. All right. Then I kind of pull on this so it's up, it's upwards and it's not dipping into the water. Around like my toilet here and then I kind of just like tuck this right here by my garbage. Yeah, then I just like leave it right there that way the cord's up out of the water. I really have no issues of it, even when it's spin drying to rock the machine to cause that damage to it. So there's that. All right guys, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the funnel that I have for it, just for the, the this is the one called diesel exhaust fluid funnel and I got this one from Walmart in the car section and I like this one because it's like longer right here that way it's able to connect to the tube that came with the wash uh, Giantex Cosway mini portable washer and dryer it fits perfectly on it just right on to the bottom here you just attach the tube here and the water inlet's just right here so you connect this part here Okay, so after you get your funnel attached to like the tube that goes, uh, connects to the water inlet, so I take a stretchy ponytail and just attach it to my shower head. Hopefully if you have something similar, then great. So it fits right, but if you don't, I'm sorry. I don't know how to help. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I do after I get the funnel attached to the tube here, take your ponytail, like a nice firm one or whatever, and that way if it like twists when you twist it, once that it grips kind of tight, you know, firm enough to hold something, if that makes sense. But you're gonna take the funnel, this, once it's twisted once, put it through that hole around and can, it will go around both sides evenly. So again, like face the shower head down and then connect that there. That way it attaches to the tube without splashing. Cause I get like a lot of concerns about like the water splashing into on the washer, the dryer, ruining the machine, the electrical parts, and don't risk it or whichever, but honestly not had like one problem. And I've had it for like four months, so it has not slipped off, nothing like that. Like it holds really good. You just gotta make sure this part's on nice and tight and then that, I, it never slips off, so <laughs> we're good. All right, and another part that I didn't wanna miss is after I take my drain right here and I just put it down right there, that way I could drain it Doing it different this time, I did get that recommendation in my video to get a lint filter. So I went on Amazon and I was reading some reviews and found this one was pretty handy. Because if you're living in an apartment, you don't want to clog up what is not yours or anything at all, right? So I got this. Um, it is called a tub shroom. This is was like 12 bucks and it actually has done a great job at filtering the water from my tub drain it's built to fit in anybody's tub drain and if you have like a lid on your tub drain or anything like that it could be easily removed i'll show you guys the directions and everything like that in the video but what you want to do with it is to take it and put it right in your drain from the bottom Just scoot it until it's popped out like that just like about an inch 
it pops out so that way it goes underneath when you're filtering out your water through here. Um, and collected lint, hairs, whatever passes through as it's draining. Yes, it takes a little bit longer and it fills up, so I do have to stop, and I'll show you guys when I go and do it, but I do actually have to make sure that I stop um, this more frequent than I did before, just to allow the water to pass through and not let it flow up more, um, because I don't have anything to lift this up. But this is pretty spacious, and like you can see all underneath, like, the tube and the bottom of it and everything like that that way it doesn't flow up above the machine uh, causing any electrical damage or anything like that so I'll show you guys how this works when I go ahead and start to use this and when it drains I'll show you all how much it collects when it's doing its job here is where I like to stop it okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing in some of my clothes I'm just gonna normally just do some like a load throwing some socks in there and I like to just go ahead and just press it down that way it just helps kind of just go in there so I'm going to go ahead and start putting my laundry soap on there. And with this, again, just like I did in my first tutorial, I'll go ahead and give you guys this hack. I love to use Dawn dish soap. This is really great for taking extra grease stains out or mildew, dirt, whatever, out of your clothes. Just a few swirls. You could just go ahead and take the original amount of laundry detergent that you usually use. Um, since this is a smaller machine, I just recommend not using so much. So that's a great thing about this machine, you can save on there. And now that I got both of those in, again, this machine, if you guys haven't seen my first video or haven't seen me before, you can run the machine with the lid being open. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. But going in here, this is what we're gonna go ahead and do now. To wash it, we're gonna go ahead and just turn the knob. So I'll show you right when I turn it on so you can see it in action. So we're going to go ahead and twist this knob for about 15 minutes. I normally let it wash for. And I like to rinse just a little laundry hack. Of course, when you're doing laundry, when you're doing darks, you're going to make sure you're like washing more and like depending on material, like lukewarm, whatever it says on, on there, but I like to do cold, lukewarm water, or just cold. That way it helps not wash those colors out your clothes. But yeah, and then it's the opposite for lights. If you're doing like lights or anything like that, you wanna use like either hot water or really warm water, just depending on material again, just really inch. it varies going to be going over an email that I actually got back in October well on October 6th um, from one of my subscribers I had Martha reach out to me through my email and she was wondering about a question that she was concerned about when it came to this machine so highlighting what this whole thing says is just basically there was a bluish greenish spark coming from her washer every time it goes to turn and so I just thought I'd go over that and just thought I would let you guys know that this is completely normal and this is what it looks like under the washer and dryer lid when you see the clicking after it clicks and stuff like that you'll see the bluish greenish flash that shines underneath every time it goes to rotate now for my guess this is how the machine is just built um, just because I guess other people are experiencing the same thing um, so don't quote me on that if I'm wrong, but that is just my best guess so far since we are experiencing the same thing with the same machine. But she was just saying how this little electric part on the bottom here, every time it turns off like this, like that, and then it goes to rotate and you hear that click, you just gotta listen to it. I'm gonna turn the lights off. You're gonna see like a little flash. Um, Like a little. 
and this machine still works really great for me you guys honestly I've had no issues yet and I've had some people say after a year this machine broke down on them out of random and sorry about that so I'm not sure about what's going to happen in the future with this machine but for right now it still does work really well for me the size is great it holds quite a good size for load the spin dryer is really fast it literally takes like 20 seconds 20 to 50 seconds really I don't ever use full minute or five minutes to actually spin dry and load for my clothes so it's really quick and efficient um, and this is again the drainage hose and after I get done washing my clothes here we're gonna go ahead and drain the water and I'll show you guys the process on how I do that so it's not overflowing the tub and as well so when it's draining at the same time it's not going upwards into the machine there is space underneath here that you can see that under the machine so literally like because of how wide the tub is I never of course allow it to flow upwards too much to where I know it's going to touch the top of the machine damaging it all right so coming back with less than a minute left I'm just going to show you guys the water so you can see the color of the water again has changed just like before it always does this every time you can cleaning of course the dirt and all the mildew and all that stuff out of your clothes so you're gonna see discoloration in the water so now that you guys just saw that that actually just stopped a uh, con about this machine it's not really a problem with me but maybe for some other people on how they work or whatever and how they run things this machine does not have a bell to notify you once it's done it just stops so not a big deal you just come back in you could either return the knob turn the machine back on keep it going for another however long you want it to go for but you could twist this at any time whatever stop it whenever you like without breaking the machine and yeah nothing like that so I'm going to go ahead and drain this now and show you guys the process on how I do this now uh, now with the tub filter in there so that way it's collecting the lint as it's passing through and as you can see it's like completely cleaned off it's empty there's no hairs whatsoever on there so I'll show you guys once we get this done and drained and how much lint you'd be surprised on how much it collects okay so this is the one for the drain now we're gonna go ahead and drain this and this drains really quickly so as you can see, don't get worried, it is draining, but the tub again is really wide, so it doesn't go above the machine. It only hits the little legs, but there's plenty of space between the machine. And sometimes when the water comes out about like this much, I like to stop it with the middle one, and then just give this filter time to let all that water drain. So since it's not really above the machine or anything, I'll just keep draining it. And yeah, just let it filter itself out, pass through, collect all that lint and all the hairs through the tube. You can see the space between the water and the tube, so it's not hitting the top of the machine, barely even the legs of the machine anyway, so that way we don't have to worry about all the water getting up into the machine and getting electrical damage in the machine as well. And it's been working for me really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this tube. This is my little hack. I mean, you could sit there and wash your clothes, but it does, I've kind of just tested this out for myself, and I just like doing it personally, turn on the water. And I just like to help rinse that down since it's not overflowing and it won't at the time I'm doing this. Just going with the pace of it and just helping those bubbles kind of just guide down from the machine. Because this does help rinse it out even more so you're not just filling up the machine with your clothes with bubbles in it and all of that. But it really, it works really well. I just kind of like turn my clothes a little bit. Just like just turn my clothes a little bit, and then I'll just keep rinsing all the bubbles. Just help the suds and everything just go down and rinse out, and help also uh, drain some of the dirty water out with the clothes as I'm rinsing this out, and it's draining at the same time. 
So I'll just do this till I feel like I've gotten enough, just kind of on the edges, because sometimes if it's really sudsy, the edges will collect with bubbles. And you want to just get some of the edges, of course not outside of the machine or inside of the machine or like in here or whatever, you know, on the outside. But then I'll just fill this back up. Right, and then like once I like get this turned off, then I will go ahead and just put this right back in here. Don't worry about like water up here, nothing's never been affected and I always wipe it so it's completely fine like if it just gets a little wet but of course don't let it sit and soak. But I always like just in case, just dry it you know. But then I put the two back in there and then we're just gonna go ahead and fill this up. And shut this, put this on normal so it plugs it up again and we're gonna fill this up once and we're gonna give it a rinse and we'll see how clear it is drain it again and see if it needs another rinse if it does whichever we can go ahead and just put it in the spin dryer and i'll show you guys this time with the water inlet and the spin dryer so you guys can see how that works as it's rinsing out your clothes too all right i think that's about good so once i get this filled up about right here Go ahead and stop the water and that way we're going to go ahead and turn this again so we can rinse our clothes, my clothes. And it has quite the power still, like it runs really well. You can see some of the bubbles after the second. Um, the first rinse that some of the bubbles are still inside the clothes. Try it with rinse for about like five minutes just for the first rinse and then when I feel like it's gone through enough for about the clothes getting those bubbles out then that's when I'll stop it, drain it, and then put those clothes in there. All right, now that that's done rinsing for the first, we're gonna do have this, go ahead and do the same process. Just drain that. Let that filter through there. Get some type of tub drain, I'd rec tub drain I would recommend. Because yeah, again, you don't want anything getting clogged up in there. You'd be surprised how much lint that little thing collects. It's pretty good, so yeah. still see the space. Okay, this is where I'm going to go ahead and start transferring the clothes um, to here and I'll show you guys how the water inlet works on the dryer side this time. We're going to go ahead and start putting just from soaking wet straight up into here. and then just put that disc on here, the spin cap, that's what it's called, the spin cap. And that way it holds it down evenly and it spins, put the lid down. Like I literally say, like I only spin this for like 20 to 50 seconds. And it's not the quietest machine. But when you're spin, drying it like that, it looks just like that. And I'll show you guys right now, like literally I'll turn it off. That was like literally okay, probably like 10 seconds. But I could tell you right now it's already dry. So I guess not even 20 to 50 seconds, literally like 10 to 20 seconds. Sorry, my sports bra is kind of, the, the pads in there kind of went off just from spinning, but I'll fix those. But yeah, like literally went from soaking wet to damp within seconds. So like it doesn't take long to dry whatsoever, but yeah, it's a really great machine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with the water on and as I'm spinning the clothes so you guys so it could just get that extra rinse and that way you guys can see what it looks like. Basically the exact same thing as the washer, but you're doing it with the dryer side. Alright, so I had to just scoot my uh, dryer or my machine over of course and then just angle it just so that this will go on. I know it seems a little sketchy and it looks crazy to do this, but that's why I never usually always like using the dryer part. But after I get this this inlet attached 
to the funnel to the water inlet and I know it's angled properly so I know this isn't gonna splash out it's just gonna go straight down here literally this is on tight enough you just got to make sure it's up and we're gonna just drain the water right into the dryer part because again there's water inlets on both sides yeah so it's a great machine and let that spin and I turn on the water and as you can see it's on and it's spinning with the water and don't worry about all the water up in here that's normal and that's okay so the water's going and it's rinsing as it's drying and it's draining out there as well it's not splashing up because the way it's angled and the pressure is not as strong so I'm going to turn the water off and now you can hear that it's smoother the sound as the vibrations when it's spinning because now there's less pressure because of the added water not being added into it anymore so now i'm going to go ahead and turn that off we got that extra rinse in and this will stop the machine immediately by the way once you open the lid really quickly but don't worry about this being wet humid moist whatever that's normal for the machine that's what it's made for and the water comes out here so i'll actually show you guys that too so you can see like the water comes straight from right in here and that's when you go like this you pack it down like this you can do it like this either way but you see how it knocks like that it's just trying to capture the weight and then it will spin smoothly so i'm going to turn the water off again again it's still draining and you can hear that smooth sound again because the water's off not applying that pressure with the added water as it's spinning so i'm going to open it stops the machine again immediately Take the spin cap out and literally yeah there's just like wet spots just because of the way it was angled in there and stuff like that but yeah it's literally damp it's like not even soaking wet within seconds all right so this is what the filter looks like from the washer that after you get done washing it and whatnot i just let it sit and dry for a minute that way it's easier for me to get it out but after doing a few loads this is what the lint collection looks like inside and of course every single time you do a load just to make sure just to keep things clean and just go through and clean that once it's over and done with then this is also the other filter for the tub and this is all of the lint that it collected after doing three loads um that way you guys could see the hair collection on how much it collected once it was doing that Okay, and again, just like I usually say in my first video, I did go over this, but just in case, I'm gonna go over it again. This thing is amazing, and I like using it for hanging up my laundry. It was 10 to $12 at Walmart, no more than that, and it was really, um, it's literally as great because you could adjust it with these little handles on here and everything like that to go upwards, slant sideways, whichever, um, to your liking, but this has gotten me, um, a way just to help dry my clothes to air dry since of course it's a spin dryer on the machine and I can't really dry my clothes completely so yeah this is just another way to hang like my pants and stuff and I just hang my shirts just in the closet with the hangers all right just so you guys can get an idea but yeah this thing hangs really well it just hangs my aprons so I could work it's really good because I'm a server at work and it's really this machine helps me a lot when I actually need to do laundry for my clothes every night um, but there's my mask you know it helps hold your socks my sports bras just I just did like a little short load just to get those in there but yeah just to get show you guys an idea so yeah this is how you'd hang your clothes on it and this is what it would look like but yeah this is a really great way to hang up your clothes dry them and get things done hey guys thanks for sticking around to the end of this video if you guys enjoyed content like this please feel free to give my youtube channel a like to this video subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you guys don't miss a thing and real quick i did just want to thank you guys my audience and everything like that for the comments in my first previous video on this giant text costway uh mini portable washer and dryer uh machine review so if you guys have any comments suggestions or anything like that just leave it in the comment uh section below so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you so much and talk to you later